What's up, sons? It's Blind Red with Son of Attack. Once again, today I have yet another how to video for you. We're going to be looking at how to mine a billion coin on Hive OS. Before that, a quick disclaimer just because I make a how to video about how to mine any particular coin doesn't mean that I'm suggesting that you should ever purchase any cryptocurrency whatsoever. In fact, I would encourage you to mine it and not buy it. That being said, as far as a billion is concerned, on the mining front, there is a slight advantage to mining it over other cryptocurrencies in the fact that it is not available on mining calculator websites such as what to mine as well as other things like hashrate.no the listing is also not going to be on coin market cap however it is on two exchanges so far one being xt.com and the other one being MEXC, with the former not having withdrawals enabled and the latter having full capabilities, including deposits and withdrawals. So keep that in mind when you are choosing which exchange you wish to use. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Welcome back everyone. So let's take a look. You will need to go to the downloads page at a billion.info forward slash downloads. The link will be down in the description. Once again, before you download a wallet or anything like that, make sure you, you are utilizing a PC that does not have any access to personal or financial information in case the files that you have downloaded become corrupted with any viruses or malware. And that is something I recommend and across the board even if you have trusted wallets because you never know what happens when they push an update in the background and disgruntled employees developers and so on may have a way to compromise you so be very careful when you are performing this now next is to basically get your wallet set up i have covered how to install the wallet in both my how to mine abelian on windows as well as my how to mine abelian on fast.ai so today we're going to go ahead and skip that and just open up the wallet make sure that the mainnet is syncing you can click the play button there and make sure it says active and that your abe wallet is also active we'll be talking about troubleshooting some of the errors in this wallet in a later video as well because there has been some next you're going to want to click that little receive tab and add Add a new address you can do that by clicking the three little dots and clicking add address and it will check the account status generate you an address and then say successfully generated a new address once you have the new address you need to actually click down expand it and create a short address which is this little s button right here then you'll click to register a unique short address it will register that and say succeeded got to click it one more time i know it's a little frustrating so now we have all of the addresses that we'll need to go ahead and get started mining so after that we're going to head back and go to a ablepool.io now ablepool is not the way we mined on windows in theory you can utilize the abelian miner and mablepool which is the official set of pools like the alicia baker and so on that we discussed in the windows on linux as well including hive os but this particular setup is going to be an all-in-one script that includes updating the gcc libraries necessary to run the miner on of course the hive os system so if you want you can do a mix and match of this go back to the windows guide look at how to register you know and then come back here and mine to a different pool by downloading that but you will still need to run this script in general to upgrade the gcc libraries or if you would prefer update those libraries yourself i haven't been too successful with that either on hive os the other thing that happens here in a lot of cases not every case anymore since they've updated the script but in a lot of cases the hive os image ends up being corrupted at the kernel level meaning you're fine and running and mining until the rig reboots and then it doesn't come back up so in that particular case it's important to take into account that you may break your hive os install in this particular case not too big of a deal as you can just refresh 
flash it, download the rig.conf file off of your settings page, drop it in and call it a day. But I wanna make sure that you're aware of that. So you will need to actually register, which once again, I am technically like typically against registering with a pool. So this also is something that I wouldn't recommend doing. However, for the purposes of the how-to and the guide, I'm going to cover it. So you are going to enter your name as you see fit. We're just going to enter Barry real quick and then an email that you will want to use for it. You can just create a burner address there or one that you use for spam and then type in your graph validate code and you will need to get an email verification code. So you click the send button and it will send you that code. You'll go check your email. I'm not going to pull my email up here for you guys right now, but you know, check your email and then snag that code. In some cases, it may end up in your junk. So make sure you check your spam and junk email boxes just in case they end up there. Once we have the code, we're going to paste it in here and type in a password and click register. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and log in. And the next step you're going to need to do is head on over to your account settings. And then you are going to need to add an address. You will go back to your wallet, copy the short address and paste it into here. Then go back to your wallet once again, cap copy the long address. And actually with the short address, it found it now. So that has been updated. You only need to put your short address in there and click save. Once that's done, it will basically give you a deploy command here that you can copy out. And this is what we'll be utilizing in Hive OS. So let's head on over to Hive. I have a rig up here. We're going to start a Hive shell session by clicking the little remote access button and then Hive shell start. If you're on the local network, you can always use web shell with your local IP. If that is your preferred method, of course, you will have to have the password for your rig if you do that. In this case, you don't have to because it creates a secure token as opposed to that. So once it's said it's complete, we're going to click it and click into Hive Shell. And real quick, I did forget because I am mining on this. We do need to unset the flight sheet. So we're going to go to our flight sheet, click the ellipses and click unset. That way we don't have any conflict there. Then we're going to go back to our shell and we're going to type in hive dash replace dash dash list. And the reason we got to do this is because we need a version of Ubuntu that's 20.04 or later. And Hive OS is on its stable image 18.04. So we need to update to the latest beta, which is going to be option two. So we're going to hit two and press enter. It will say, do you want to install Hive OS on the SDA? Type yes. So we'll say yes and press enter. It's going to stop the OS services. It's going to download the new beta image and install it. And once that's complete, we can continue from there. Okie doke. So now you'll see this says complete and rebooting. You'll lose your shell session. So don't worry about that. You can go back and just wait for the rig to come back online. You can see here it shows offline. So we're just going to wait for it to come back up and then we will move on from there. All right, so it's back online. We're going to start another shell session. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. All right, now that it started, we're going to go ahead and open it again. In this particular case, I do like to start a brand new screen. So to do that, we're going to type in screen dash capital S and we're going to name it Able. Because if you name it minor, it will conflict with Hive OS's minor screen. So you don't really want to do that. Once we have the screen started, we're just going to go back to that accounts page from ablepool.io and copy this deploy command. Then head back on over to our shell. Right click, say paste from browser. Paste that command into the box and click OK. And then we're going to go ahead and click enter. So in a lot of cases, you can see here that this is where it installed those new libraries. But after it's all done with that, 
there is a, a problem where it will just keep saying waiting a GPU power sleep time. That's going to happen in some cases. Just let it roll. Eventually, it'll start mining, and then you'll be able to see. So I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, so you can see it gave us a little bit of the log already, and you can continuously print this log out, which can make things a little bit easier. I actually have this on my guide on locals over here. If you guys aren't members to locals, you can definitely check it out. That's going to be over here under articles. And if you scroll down just a tad, we should see how to mine Abelian on HiveOS. We're going to go to the post. I'll leave this link down below. And there's a command here you can copy out, which is going to be the tail dash F slash root slash minor log. And all you got to do from there is right click, paste from browser, paste that into the browser and press enter. And you will have a continuous printout of the miner and how it's functioning and you can go ahead and press control a d to exit that and you can close your shell safely and it will continue to mine and if you want to reconnect and observe it you can shell back in and then do screen dash lowercase r able press enter and it will bring up the log once again press control a d to exit and you can safely close that so at this point you'll be successfully mining you can go over to your machine list and it will give you an online basically denotation over here for status how much hash rate you're getting it'll take a little bit to report to the pool it'll actually break out each individual gpu and how many of them you have and how much those gpus are getting in hash rate pretty nice as far as that's considered if it goes offline you have this offline option here and you can review them you can delete it out if you decide not to mine it anymore with one of your rigs because it's not performing well enough and so on they've added a lot to this pool including of course a calculator now if you want to check out you know essentially what a hundred mega hash would be it's going to be about two dollars or so in or two dollars and forty cents or so per day per 100 mega hash of course if you took out that one there you can go ahead and do that it looks like we do have a mining calculator over here so you know there's that it also gives you the minor revenue per card so if you want to look at each card they'll tell you how much hash rate it's getting and yes you would be right if you assumed this was et hash you are definitely correct that is the case here and then you can run your power calculations you know through hive if you prefer that's kind of what i like to do you can just you know see how much how much power it's taking if i refresh here what you'll see is yeah so we'll have like 1100 kilowatts or whatever you can calculate out what that's going to cost you and then of course subtract subtract it from the calculator so there's all your references as far as that's concerned glad to see a calculator up here on this website so there's how to mine abelian on hive os that script will work on any linux distribution as long as you have you know your cuda drivers and your opencl drivers installed you'll be good to go thanks for watching be sure to hit the like comment subscribe and notification bells down below and i will see you next Tuesday. Don't forget to check out sonofatech.com for my crypto mining e-course. And in addition, you can become a supporter over at sonofatech.locals.com. For a while, Abelian was at $10 per 100 mega hash. And I released that information on locals only. And that is to kind of keep a smooth hash rate increase on some of these smaller networks so we don't damage profitability right off the bat. See you next Tuesday.